Hi, welcome to Coal Combustion's online training. And if you work at a coal-fired power plant or you are involved with uh, supplying the coal, either buying or selling the coal to this power plant, understanding coal quality and coal specifications is key to performing your job. And what I've done is taken the 40 years of experience that I have working with coal quality and put together a nice 10 chapter online training. And here they are. This is the basic ASTM coal analysis that you need to well characterize coals. So we'll be covering all these tests and more. In chapter one, coal formation and rank, we're gonna be talking about the different types of ranks of coal the difference between lignite and anthracite. In chapter two, we cover coal sampling. If you don't get a good sample, you can't hardly rely on these results. So getting a sample is key to being able to use coal quality results. In chapter three, we cover the proximate analysis. This is where we look at the dilutants, ash and moisture, and the combustible material like volatiles and fixed carbon. In chapter four, we cover the uses of prox, where we determine the value of the coal, both using heating value, sulfur, ash, and moisture. In chapter five, we cover the ultimate analysis. The ultimate analysis, or carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen analysis, help us perform many of the combustion calculations. Chapter six, we'll look at utilizing the ultimate and proximate analysis to calculate the net calorific value or the usable heat content in a coal. Being able to utilize ASTM analyses is extremely important in looking at the value of coal and the performance of power plant, particularly when trying to diagnose issues like emissions or ash deposits. In chapter seven, we'll be looking at the Hargrove Grindability Index, where we look at whether a coal is made out of potato chips or rubber bands. In chapter eight, we're gonna look at ash fusion temperatures, both the usefulness of these and some of the misleading aspects. After chapter eight, we go to chapter nine. We're gonna look at the ash chemistry or the major and minor elements, and we can really tell a whole lot more about the properties of a coal by looking at the elements in the ash. Chapter 10 is how do we utilize those elements. To, this will help us to predict slagging and fouling and other characteristics of the coal. So please consider taking this training. It won't take that long, but you'll have a much greater appreciation of what coal quality information can do for you and help you with your job.